Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Now, I'll give you a very brief description of what I do and uh, sort of a little bit of a history of just for those that are, that's a weird noise, isn't it? Those, just for those that are new, uh, listening or watching on YouTube. So this is going to be both a podcast and a video. So basically, I've been doing this since 2006, making videos, making podcasts, uploading to the internet. First of all, started on MySpace, then went to Facebook, YouTube, every other video platform that came and went, and also every podcast platform that came, went, and stayed. And now, uh, most of the people that use my free service listen on my podcasts. But I know there's also, I have an audience on YouTube, a much smaller audience at this time. So I thought I'd start making some videos again, because I haven't done really much in a way videos for quite some time. So it's a free service. As I said, I've been doing it for a long time. I've made thousands of recordings. And uh, when I started, I was younger and slimmer. I was 35 when I started. I'm now 51. I know. It's terrible, isn't it? Uh, so I've got quite a few different podcasts. I've got Let Me Bore You to Sleep, which is a boring one. Which is, I just talk about nothing for an hour. I've got the Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis podcast, where I just whisper sweet nothings in your ear. Uh, there's the... What other ones? Oh yeah, this one. Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Uh, there's the Jason's Story Time. Bedtime Story Time. There's Boring something or other that I do. I do a few different ones. I forget the names of them. It's not good, is it? Not much of a promoter. Um, it's not boring ideas. What is it? Boring objects. That's it. Um, yeah, there's a few others as well. So, uh, I also do, I don't just do relaxation and sleep recordings. I do chronic pain recordings. I do, that's to help you to relieve, I don't, not to give you chronic pain, but to help you to reduce your chronic pain, which should or hopefully will occur even in the relaxation recordings because when you relax, then that causes you to stop worrying and reduces your anxiety and stress. And when your stress is reduced, Reduced, the chronic pain becomes less. So, itch my nose. So I'm going to get on with the recording. I thought it'd be nice just to have a bit of a body scan. Uh, so we just focus on your body. You haven't got to do anything. Just close your eyes. And just listen to my voice. That's all, really. There's nothing else to do. It's a case of just allowing yourself, giving yourself permission to kind of let yourself be guided by my words. Give yourself the chance to let go. Allow yourself this space, this opportunity to kind of switch off the internal dialogue, the 
thoughts that may be racing through your mind at this point, allowing those to slow down. So it really is just a case of giving yourself permission to take a break from taking things too seriously. Now I realize there's serious stuff going on and there may be serious stuff going on in your life. But right now, right in this moment, allow yourself to let go of that stuff. Even if it is just for the duration of this recording or of this video, allow yourself to let that stuff go. You can even pretend. Pretend that you're able to step out of that stuff. To physically, literally step out of your own skin. And just take a few steps away. And then maybe sit in a chair. Lie down on your bed. And enjoy that sensation of. Being. Away from that. Tension and stress that you were maybe experiencing before you decided to listen to my voice. Allowing yourself to have a degree of space. Because sometimes that's all we need. Just a little bit of space. You know when someone's really in your face... They're talking to you and they want your attention and all they want is for you to listen to them. But you, in that moment, you really can't deal with it for whatever reason. You really, what you need most of all is just, first of all, for them to just shut up. But if you're someone you care about, you can't say that to them. So you need space. And sometimes in that situation, you need to just move to a different room. And it might only be for a few minutes, just enough time to remove yourself from the situation so you can collect your own thoughts and to be able to allow yourself to let go of the day's stresses and tensions, giving you an opportunity to just settle down, to calm your mind, and just kind of collect your own thoughts. You know, just get in touch with how you feel right now. And this, it may seem a bit selfish to the other person. It may even feel selfish to yourself. But sometimes that's what you need. To be able to be there for yourself and for the other person. Sometimes we need to have that space. And if it's not there, maybe we need to create it. Maybe you need to determine for yourself when you require a bit of space for you. Because
because it may benefit more than just yourself. Allowing you to process mentally some of the things that have occurred during the day maybe giving you time to realize how you're actually feeling because sometimes it can be we can be so busy got so much going on that we don't have time to really get in touch with how we are emotionally or even how we're feeling physically. And part of the body scan is to get in touch with how you're feeling physically to start with. Without trying to change how you're feeling, without rejecting uncomfortable sensations, or trying, you know, or trying to push them away, or trying to hold on or search for pleasant feelings. It's all about just accepting whatever feelings you experience. And I realize this is counter to what we would normally do. It goes against the normal way of being. You know, if you have a, an unpleasant experience, you want it gone. Or if you experience something really nice, you want to hold on to it because it's nice, it's pleasant, it's pleasure. However, what this does, the acceptance of how you feel right now in the moment, is first of all, you're noticing how you feel. You're not moving so quickly as to not be in touch, to not be in contact with your own thoughts and feelings. Just by accepting them, sometimes feelings, what they really need more than anything is just acknowledgement. Sometimes, like little babies, like little toddlers, sometimes these feelings, they don't need anything more than for you just to acknowledge them, to notice them. Because often your body gives you feelings for a reason, because it wants your attention. As with stress. And the more often you're able to notice when your stress levels are a bit too high, it helps to re release and reduce those stress levels, which means hopefully they won't get too bad and they won't end up being anxiety or cause new physical issues. So we're gonna start off by focusing, I'm gonna close my eyes as well, by the way. Um, I'm gonna focus on our face. So you're gonna focus on your face, starting off with your forehead. And if there's any background sounds, which there might be where you are. I've got some birds singing in the in the garden. Herbert the pigeon often visits around this time of the day. Bless him. You don't need for it to be completely silent. Now I realize if you are listening to this because you're planning to fall asleep, then you know, the, I guess the quieter the better. But you don't really need that. Because it's never going to be silent. Wherever you are, it's unlikely to be completely silent. Even if you was in a mountain, you're still going to hear the, the, 
birds farting or whatever, there's still going to be some sound. The wind. But, you know, the normal wind as well as the birds. And even if you can't hear anything out outside, you still hear your stomach rumbling, maybe, or you hear your own breathing, maybe. So, sounds are okay. And the more you get in touch with the idea that actually sounds are not the enemy. Sounds are okay. Sounds are natural. If you live in a place where other people live, there are going to be sounds. And when you are able to just let go of that part of your brain that wants to control your environment, It allows you to have more of a sense of peacefulness because ultimately we can't control our environment when other people are in that environment. We can't control other people. It took me many years to come to terms with that. Now I can sleep if there's a lawnmower uh, in the garden. I mean, I don't mean just sitting there. I mean, if it's on someone's, I don't mean lawnmower sunbathing, but if the lawnmower is actually being used by a, a neighbour, I can fall asleep. And what I've noticed is when you, when you get to a certain point of sleepiness, your ears switch off. It's almost like your ears just stop working. They're still listening for important things. But general stuff, it just switches off. Sometimes I've woken up before my ears have. So I've been only just minute second or whatever. And then I hear what's going on in the garden. It's almost, almost like my ears just switch off. They go to sleep. So that's quite a good thing. So I'm going to focus on your eyes now. Just noticing how your eyes feel. Your eyelids the muscles around your eyes. Just allowing whatever feeling to be there. Moving down to your jaw. That whole area of your jaw, basically from your ears all the way down to your chin. Just noticing how it feels. As you focus on your mouth, your lips, your tongue, your teeth, your gums, just the whole general area of your mouth. to your throat and the front of your neck, the sides of your neck, the back of your neck, focus in on your shoulders, noticing how your shoulders feel. upper arms, your elbows, your 
forearms. Your wrists. Now focusing on your hands. The tops of your hands. The palms of your hands. Your fingers. thumbs, focus on each individual finger, and if you have any trouble focusing on any particular part of your body, what you can do is maybe tense a muscle in that part, or as with the fingers, just move one of the fingers. So you can get more of a sense of how that particular part of your body feels right now. Focusing now on your chest. down to your stomach, above your belly button, and below your belly button, and either side of your belly button, that whole area moving to your sides. Focusing on your upper back, that area near where your shoulder blades are, the part moving down from your the back of your neck, and as it moves down to the middle of your back, just focus on that area, both sides of your spine. then your lower back, that whole area moving down into your hips, and I'd like you just to focus at the top of your spine Imagine either side of your spine, the muscles, and just moving all the way down your spine, like a slide, moving all the way down to the bottom of your spine, leading to your buttocks, just focusing on that area your midsection, your hips, buttocks, groin, the tops of your thighs, the inner thighs, the front of the thighs, the sides, and the backs of your thighs. Focusing on your knees, the backs of your knees, that part that maybe we ignore quite a lot of time, but it's a very sensitive part. Focus in on your calf muscles. On your 
your shins. Leading to your ankles. Lastly, we focus on your feet, the heels of your feet, the tops of your feet, the sides of your feet, and the bottoms of your feet. Now focusing on your toes. If it helps to get more in touch with the feet and the toes, you could always move your toes around or just scrunch up your feet. Just so you can get more in touch with how they are feeling right now. And as you focus back on your hands, Noticing how your hands feel, and then noticing again how your feet feel. Quite often the hands and the feet are at the same level of comfort. And when your hands or when your feet are relaxed, it's a good indication that the rest of your body is also relaxing more deeply, naturally. I'd like you to imagine in your mind you can open the windows to your mind. One window near the front of your head and another window at the back of your head. And you can just let that air blow through the front of your head, through your mind, in and out of the window at the back of your head. Blown away any negativity, any stress, any tension. Just allowing that wind to blow away those cobwebs and dust and dirt and negativity. Just allow the wind to blow through. It could be a light breeze or it could be a blustery wind. It's up to you. Allow your mind to feel cleansed and calmed. And I'm going to count from 10 down to 1. And when I get to 1, that will bring this recording to an end. You can, if you choose, open your mind, open your eyes, or you can just fall asleep into a deep, relaxing sleep, healing your body and your mind. And as I count down from 10 down to 1, you can allow yourself to become twice as relaxed in your body, twice as calm in your mind. Now, and every time you hear my voice in the future, or watch a video, or listen to a podcast, you can bring those feelings of comfort, these feelings of looseness and calmness, with you, with the expectation of feeling deeply relaxed, deeply relaxed as your mind slows down completely. Now, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, 
seven.